In the last video, we began to visually explore the relationship between the number of sessions I attend and my monthly cost given the different plans. So right here, right here in this blue line, we visualized it for the trial plan. And in this orange dotted line, we visualized it for the basic plan. And it meets, or it intuitively hopefully represents, what we already understood about the different plans. The trial plan, we don't pay anything up front. And then every time we add a session, so every time we move to the right here, we move to the right by one session, we add $12 to our cost. We move up by 12. Add another session, move up by 12. Add another session, you move up by 12. On the basic plan, we did have an upfront cost of $20, but the line was less steep. We had to pay less per extra session. Here, when we added a session, we only had to add $8 to our total fees. At another session, you only have to add $8. So the orange line starts at a higher point, but it's less steep. And we see because of that, they clearly intersect. And they intersect, they intersect right over here. So my question to you is, what is the what is the significance? What is the significance of that point of intersection? Well, let's think about it a little bit. How much do each of the plans cost if I only attend one session? So we see here from the trial plan, it'll cost us $12. While on the basic plan, if I only attend one session, it'll cost us $28. And you didn't even have to look at this, look at these tables that we set up. You can see this visually. At one session, so if you go at one session, the trial plan is below the basic plan. If you go to two sessions, the trial plan is still below the basic plan, although they're not as far apart, they're not as far apart. Three sessions still. The basic plan is above the trial plan, but they're getting closer and closer together. All the way until you get to this point right over here. This point is essentially the session, the number of sessions, and if I just eyeball it, it looks like five sessions, but we'll confirm that later in this video. It looks like the number of sessions at which, regardless of which plan we choose, the cost is the same. And it looks like that cost is right around $60. But once again, we will confirm that. And then once we go beyond that point, all of a sudden the basic plan becomes cheaper than the trial plan. It looks like if we were to take six sessions, the basic plan actually gives us a lower price than the trial plan. But how do we actually figure out what this point is, what number of sessions, and what dollar value. I just eyeballed it right now, and that's what's usual, What's useful about these visual graphs. But what if we wanted to get the exact value? Maybe the exact value is 5.1 or $60.25. How do we get the exact same value? Well, one way to think about it is we're trying to figure out the S, that, or the number of sessions, so that regardless of which plan we choose, we have the exact same cost. So if we pick the basic plan, our cost is going to be $20, is going to be $20 plus 8 times s, plus 8 times s. And if we pick the trial plan, our total cost will be 12 times s, 12 times s. And we're trying to find that unknown s where this value is going to be the same as this value. That, that, unknown mad, that unknown number of sessions where regardless of which plan I choose, I will pay the same monthly fee. So we're curious about the S where 12S is equal to 20 plus 8S. So we've set up this equation. We have an equation with one unknown. We should be able to solve this. So let's think about how we might do it. So what's the first general idea that we might want to do if we want to figure out the unknown s? Well, for me, and there's many, many different ways to approach these algebra problems, and that's actually what makes them fun and interesting, is I'd try to isolate the s, the s's, or the s, on one side of the equation. And for me, I want to isolate it on the right-hand side, since I already have a 12s there, and I already have this 20 on the left-hand side. I could have done other things. So what's the best way to get rid of this 8s from the left-hand side. Well, the easiest thing I can think of is to subtract 8s from the left-hand side. But I can't just do that. If I do that, then this equality won't hold. These things were equal to each other. If I just subtract from one side, the left-hand side won't be equal to the right-hand side. In order for them to be equal, I have to do the same thing. I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side. 
And once I do that, once I do that on the left hand side, these two characters negate each other, and I'm just left with 20. I'm just left with 20 on the left hand side. Let me. I'm just left with 20 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I'm left with, if I have 12 S's and I take away 8 of the S's, I'm left with 4 S's. So it's equal to 4 times 4 times S. And so now we're pretty close. I just want an S on the right hand side. What can I do to this equation so that I can have just an S on the right hand side? Well, the easiest thing to do is to divide both sides by 4. Divide both sides by 4. I can't do it just to one side. And when I divide both sides by 4, what do I get for s? Well, on the right hand side, 4s divided by 4 is just going to be s. It is just going to be s. And that's going to be equal to 20 divided by 4, which is 5. So we eyeballed it. It looked like five sessions. And now we know for sure. At five sessions, the cost of either plan is going to be the same. But what is the cost of, that, of either plan there? Well, we should be able to go to either plan because the cost will be the same. So if we look at our trial plan, if we look at our trial plan and we take and we say five sessions, how much will that cost? Well, the cost is going to be 12 times 5. So the cost is going to be equal to 12, 12 times 5, which is going to be $60. The cost is going to be $60. Now my question to you is, do we even have to try, that, try out the 5 in this equation right over here? See what it would cost under the basic plan. Well, we wouldn't, because the whole reason we got five sessions is because we said this is the number of sessions at which we get the same exact cost for the basic plan or the trial plan. But if you're curious, I do encourage you to try it out. Substitute a 5 in here for s and see what you get. You'll get 20 plus 8 times 5, which is 20 plus 40, which is $60. So in either plan at five sessions, the total cost is going to be $60. And then if you add sessions after that, if you add sessions after that, because the trial plan is more steep, every incremental session after that is going to cost you more, you see that the trial plan starts to become more and more expensive. So going back to my question of which gym membership I'm going to use, all of a sudden I have an interesting answer. If I plan on attending, on average, less than five sessions, it probably makes sense, less than five sessions a month, it probably makes sense for me to use the trial plan. If I plan to attend more than five sessions a month, the basic plan is going to be cheaper. If I plan to attend exactly five sessions a month, it doesn't matter which plan I actually use.